Crews have completed work, thank goodness, to repair a broken water line in South Austin last night along, along Kinney Road near South Lamar and Old Torf. The line first broke last night just before 8.30 and crews are still out there. We're under the spoil water notice, but these poor folks couldn't even do that because the water was turned off in their neighborhood. But Candy Rodriguez is live in that neighborhood this morning with a closer look and some good news for those folks. Good morning, Candy. Hey guys, good morning. Yeah, they just wrapped up about 15 minutes ago. They were finishing up by filling that hole left behind by the water line break. They told me the actual repair happened at 430 this morning and the water is back on for these folks. They are now moving the barricades to open Kenny Avenue here near South Lamar. But again, big concern because there was water gushing out last night and as we continue to be under a boil water notice now, all eyes this morning on the weather we could see today and are expecting. City, city leaders said in a news conference Tuesday afternoon, the possible heavy rain could delay efforts to certify Austin's water as clean, but they believe there is no indication at this point that the boil water situation will be a long term issue and say it could be a few days, not weeks. But if we get the the, 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 the couple few inches that uh, are anticipated on Wednesday and then the rain stops, then at some point this weekend we should be moving out. It's anticipated we'd be moving out of a, of a water boil situation. The city also said people are cutting their water use, which is good, but still need to conserve. Austin Water says the three treatment plants are currently treating about a third of the water they would normally treat, and it continues to improve. And for the first time since the flood hit, Austin is now producing more water than it is consuming. As you can see, there's a car passing by. The road is back open now. I had to take a look behind me here. They just removed all the barricades, so Kinney Avenue open again for business this morning. Now, when it comes to the boil water notice, city leaders did receive some criticism from city council member Ellen Troxclair stating that more could have been done to avoid this boil water notice. Guys, back to you. And Candy, if there's a silver lining for those folks, maybe they already had a lot of boil uh, bottled water on hand when their water went out this morning. Candy Rodriguez, thank you very much.